Hello, I'm so excited you've chosen to join 1128 for this journey and talking about the Enneagram and helping us understand our own responses to this current experience that we are all in together with COVID-19. So the way this is gonna work, we're gonna run through each of the numbers, one number a day. So today we're starting with eight. And uh, there's some things that I think are important to remind all of us. The Enneagram is just one tool. Okay, so we can't make it more than it is. However, I do think it's the most helpful tool that exists to help us talk about what's happening in us and how we want to choose to respond in a healthier, better manner. Um, so some things to kind of lay some groundwork are that number one, the entire world is experiencing a level of stress that we have not experienced globally in our lifetimes. It hasn't happened. And so I think it's important that we stop and say, oh yeah, this is stressful. And people aren't always their best selves when they're stressed. And my hope in talking about that is that we are able to give each other a whole lot of grace. Because the second rule of the Enneagram that I want us to kind of throw out there, it's just a tool. And two, it's a tool for working on yourself, not for harming your people. This, that is not what we're here for. We are not here to give you weapons to hurt the people who live with you and love you. That's not what the Enneagram is for. The Enneagram is to grow us in self-awareness and to grow us in compassion. So if in learning about these stress moves, you do not find yourself growing in self-observation or in compassion for others, uh, don't keep using this tool. It's not for you. It's not helpful. So our eight friends, Eights have the most energy of anybody on the Enneagram. And when eights begin to experience stress, that energy can turn a little backwards on them. And so in a stress move to five, you have a choice to make eight. You can choose to move to the high side of five and get some things that you need to take care of yourself. Or if you don't make a conscious choice, you're likely to move to the low side of five, where your behavior becomes hurtful to people around you. So what does that even look like? On the low side of five, eight to have made that move feel powerless and terrified. And that is not a familiar feeling to eights. Eights are big and strong. And so to feel that way is very scary for an eight and unusual. So to cope with the fear, eights will avoid people, and make crazy big plans that don't really take into account all of the other people that they might involve. So what about on the high side? What could an eight look at in five to find a sense of strength or to help take better care of themselves? The biggest thing is when an eight moves to five in a wise and uh, making that choice, when they make the choice to move to five and move to the high side of five, rather than just finding themselves flying over there. They have the wisdom of knowing, when do I need to push back? And when do I need to just back down? Rather than when they're on the low side of five, it's like, I'm just going to take home everything that's mine and all you people just figure it out on your own. And while you're doing that, I'm going to be making my own crazy big plans that are better than all of yours. And when you're ready to listen, I'll tell you. Well, that is obviously not the healthiest, best space to be in. So eights, choose in this season to pick your battles. Where is it wise to push back, to assert yourself, to use your strength and power? And where is it wise to say, maybe I need to wait. Maybe I need to let others play this out for themselves. Here are some questions that I hope are helpful for you if you are an eight in evaluating, am I in healthy space? And how do I get myself back into healthy space? First, how are other people responding to you right now? Just notice. Then you could ask yourself, why am I angry? Good question to reflect on. Eight, you might also ask yourself, is it more important for me to be right or for me to stay in relationship? 
And the question that every single member needs to be asking themselves in stress is, how am I using thinking, feeling, and doing? How can I balance them better? Eight, your best tool for getting back into healthy space is to bring up feeling. Ask yourself, how am I feeling? Even if you don't like it, practice examine. Notice your own emotional state. Then practice noticing the feelings of those around you. What are they expressing to you verbally? Yes, but also what are they expressing to you in the way they're responding to you, in the way that they are varying from their normal behavior? Pay attention to the emotional energy around you. It is your best tool to come back into healthy space. Eight, we need you. Your strength, your courage, your ability to look out for the underdog is so necessary in this season. And we need you at your healthy level. So eight, thank you.